I'm Lester Baskerville and the son of Laverne Baskerville. My parents were custodians of this building from 56 to 64, I believe. It was decided this building was one to be closed. But this building and the people have, who have served in it have a long, rich tradition in education and extracurricular activities. I have a lot of memories of this because my mother-in-law went through high school here, I went through high school here, my two kids went through high school here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now a word from our chaplain. We thank you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For the many years these buildings and grounds, along with past and present faculty, have educated the children of our community, which has enriched the lives of our children, our parents, and our grandparents. In 1922, when this was built, there was a um, there were some family feuds going on because some people didn't want to leave their township schools and come to a big consolidated Litton School. <laughs> now we lower the flag in front of our beloved Litton School for the last time. We just, it was fun. It was very close. We only had 19 in our class. We had nine boys and 10 girls, and we're still to this day very close class. I think. The decommissioning ceremony signifies an end of an era. It is a solemn occasion at which we pause to reflect upon the rich heritage of this school and our education system that is what makes our country a wonderful place to live. I came in here uh, as a freshman from country school and back in those days everybody, most people rode the school bus and we had three buses that would park here and three buses that would park there. They'd go north of town and they'd go west of town and they were all full. That was a little over 50 years ago. Now, you know, one, the bus has maybe three, four kids on it. That, that, that's sure been a big change, but that's why they have to close school. There aren't enough children. This ceremony will honor a building and all the students, teachers, coaches, administrators, and the school board members that made this a great facility to receive an excellent education while providing excellent athletics and fine art opportunities for all students who have walked its hallowed halls. I went K through 6 here in the Litton building. It was a good time. Yep. She went, she was here too. She went through K through 8. 8, yep. She was very lucky she didn't have to go over to the it's elementary so school. Too. That she just, um, she was able to stay here for all the years at school. Around 1915, many Litton residents and farmers who were edu educationally minded promoted a consolidated school district. This proposal was met with much antagonism. In the late 80s, the Lytton Community School District began to do some whole grade sharing with the Rockwell City Community School District. And in the early 90s, they consolidated to make the Rockwell City Lytton Community School District. At this point, a building that had served the Lytton community as a K-12 building found itself lending itself as a thriving middle school which included grades 5 through 8. This is how the building stands today. I had one teacher I, uh, I three times, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. I had two teachers twice. Uh, no. Yeah, they, were, I, I, they I, I, used I, them I, a lot I, and they were all really good. Yeah. So uh, it, was, it was fun. It was decided this school year in the midst of some controversy that the building be closed and the Rockwell City Lytton School District finds itself once again looking at some possibilities of future consolidation. History has a way of repeating itself. In the decommissioning of a ship, the commanding officer orders strike eight bells, terminating the final watch. I would now like to strike our school bell eight times. This will terminate the final watch. I would also like to interject some symbolism in at this time also. 
This building has been open for 87 years. Every ring of the bell will represent one decade of existence in this community. for the final flag glory. This flag will be given to the Lytton Museum in remembrance of all the children and all the memories that have passed through the halls and the classrooms of this building. Sergeant at Arms, let us lower the flag. Quad, arms, arms. my dad. I remember a lot of days coming out and taking the flag down for dad and folding it and it had to be folded right and set in on the radiator in there inside the door <laughs> every day. So, a lot of good memories. I could pick out this one favorite memory. You know, like I said, I was in several different things, and, and it's just kind of one of those things. So.